Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to find your niche for your Instagram page. So if you're a beginner and you're wondering what niche to go into when you're starting out, then pay attention. This video is for you. Now, a few questions uh, before we dive in is like, Cap, can you switch niche in the future? Of course you can, because it's not a long term commitment thing. You can switch niche in the future, but ideally, but try not to only do it if you've been sticking to it for at least three months and it's just not you know it's just not for you deep down uh, but apart from that in those three months i want you to be i want you to be sticking to it and just giving it your all before deciding to change if you're wondering if a niche is saturated then uh, chances are sometimes some niches for example travel because that's there's so many accounts and it's so popular it's likely to be quite saturated but the way to and the way to solve this is uh it's a strategy from a book called blue ocean strategy and what you want to do is pick a blue ocean and what that basically is you got sharks in the red ocean which which is the the travel niche for example where there's so many so many competitors and everyone's trying to compete with each other and there's so many people but then if you pick a blue ocean where the where the water is not bloody but it's nice and clear uh, there's no one else competing with each other in that niche hop into that niche so an example so if you're in fashion what you can do is switch to a blue ocean market which for example would be fashion for college and university students who do, who are on a low budget what you can also do is find a way to differentiate yourselves it's by asking questions about yourself knowing what makes you different from the rest is it a specific personality trait? Is it a is it a way you communicate? Is it the the type of colors and color schemes you like to use? It's up to you. And also, what target audience you're trying to pick? Is it a younger demographic or older demographic? Now, the first main question we should be asking is: Do I have knowledge in this industry? Because what that's going to do is it's going to give you a head start over other accounts. Just because you you know the language and you've had experience. Just because you, you've had experience in this certain niche you have more to share and when you have more to share and offer the more value you can create for people stumbling upon your instagram another thing is you can speak the niche's language so what does that mean well if you're in the travel niche you're gonna there's certain keywords and terminology that people will be using so it makes it easier to conversate with people and build connections and build like better relationships with people in the comments, for example, or the DMs. Now, the second question we should be asking is, is it something that I'm passionate about? And that kind of follows on from the first point about speaking their language, speaking their lingo and just being familiar. And another thing on those days when you don't feel as motivated to post, for example, that passion you have for the niche is just going to carry you forward and probably get you out of that situation much easier than if you were in a niche that you weren't so passionate about. And also if you didn't know much about in the first place, a great way to test how much passion you really have for this is by thinking about your why, your deeper message. Uh, why am I even starting this account in the first place? And uh, if you can recall that, that why, very easily like it just rolls off the tongue uh, then you have a winner so for example why did i start a luxury page i was inspired by how the top one percent live how the rich what the rich lifestyle was like and i almost wanted to uh, be able to visualize it and then share it with others so that's my reason why for you if you're in fashion it might be that you didn't know how to dress properly when you were younger but then as you learn more through YouTube tutorials and mentors, uh, now you have expertise and you finally know how to dress and it makes you feel more confident and you want to share that sort of content and knowledge to other people who were probably in your old situation and help them get to the new situation. So that's just an example. The third question you should be asking is, is it something I can easily monetize in the future? Just because you know about it and you're passionate about it, doesn't mean it's going to make you money in the long run. You see, in certain niches, uh, it's just it, the deal is some niches are just easier to monetize than other ones. So, for example, fashion, uh, once you get a decent sized follow and an engaged one as well, it could lead to it could lead to brand deals. It could lead to sponsorships. You could lead to to shout outs from other influencers. And there's a lot more ways to monetize in those niches than something very, very, very specific. So by thinking about what you're passionate about, what you have knowledge in and 
if it can make you money in the future hopefully that narrows the options down for you and you finally get to picking your niche now if you still need help with this you can always dm me on instagram you can always dm me at, on instagram and then we can have a chat about this and get you started straight away because a mistake i see a lot of people make and myself included is i spent way too much time trying to figure it out this is not a deal breaker as i said you can switch anytime you want preferably not off not very off because all that time all that time thinking about this could have grown into getting more followers okay so don't spend too much time on this hopefully this video helps and i have an instagram playlist that's going to help you whether you're starting from scratch or you're more advanced grow and increase your engagement and if you wanted to talk to me one-on-one -on -one personally uh, you can hop on a call the link is in the description and i'll ask you a few questions and we'll see if you are the right fit to work with so that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it like comment and subscribe and see you in the next 